up i got a handheld tripod i finally ordered one from amazon and i don't know why i'm so excited about that but today is thursday um the 31st and we are going shopping but we're not going shopping for clothes today we're gonna go shopping for some stuff for my apartment yes since I've moved into this apartment, I haven't really done anything to it. I brought all of my furniture from my old house. And you guys know I did not intend on being in this apartment for a long time. My goal was to be here for at least three to six months. Six months being the max. Eight months if I wanted to push it. Um, that's what I had in my mind when I moved in. But since I got here, I've been house hunting and it looks like it's not going to happen this year. <laughs> I've gotten frustrated. I am tired. I am stressed and I told myself, you know what? Just chill out. Enjoy the rest of this year. Work. Um, live a little. Have fun. Keep saving money. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep working on your credit school and then try again next year. And hopefully next year the market will be better. I hope the market will be better. I know a lot of realtors are telling me, oh, you don't know what's going to happen next year. So just try to do it this year. But the thing is, because I've worked so hard to get what I want and because I've saved so much money and I refuse to compromise on the house that I want, I don't want to just settle for something because the market is crazy. A lot of the houses now you have to go over asking price and some of the houses are not even worth what they are asking you for. So I just made the decision that I'm going to wait till next year. I might come back next week and decide that I want to start looking again. But for now, I'm taking a break. So I decided to get my apartment in order, make it look nice, make myself comfortable because I might be here for a while. <laughs> I hope I'm not, but I'm giving myself at least till next year. I, I'm tired. I am stressed. Um, if you ever been on the market to buy a house, you know the amount of stress and energy and money and paperwork that goes into it. Then imagine trying to do it in this market. It's like 10 times worse. So I'm just going to take a break so we're going to um i'm saying so a lot we're going to get the apartment together what i really want to work on is my bedroom i want to get my bedroom in order i have so much stuff so i want to figure out how i'm going to organize it so i plan on um i want to get my room organized because i have so much stuff i decided to get shelving for my bedroom to just to put my bags and shoes on because i have so much and they're all over the floor i only have one small closet in the bedroom and i have too much stuff but my girlfriend told me that she have her shelving unit from Ikea that was in her apartment and she moved into her house now. So she's not using that. So she's going to give it to me. I need to get a U-Haul to pick that up, but I'll show it to you guys. Um, so I plan on putting that in my bedroom, putting my shoes, my bag, getting it off the floors. Uh, I want to get some new curtains. I want to get some new bed sheets and I want to get a dining room for my dining room it's not really a dining room it's a small space because since i moved into the uh the apartment we've just been eating in the living room so i want to get a dining room like a small dining room table and some chairs and then the kitchen doesn't have any pantry so everything i have in the kitchen is just sitting on the floor because like i said i have so much stuff so i want to try to get a portable pantry i don't know if that's what's called but like a little pantry that just stands up that i can put in the kitchen and yeah, just get this apartment together. So I'm excited to start doing some home shopping. We are gonna go do that. We're gonna go to Home Sense, Home Goods. Um, probably uh, what else do they have over there? I think they have Burlington Co Factory. Whatever home store I find around there, we're gonna go. Batteries is about to die. Let me run into the apartment, grab another battery, and then we'll be all shopping. Yay! 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 I'm excited. I'm excited to bring a little bit of life to this apartment because. I have not been showing it any love. So let's go shopping. Ooh, ooh. Oh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Emmeline. I am a fashion lifestyle blogger. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like styling videos, try on hauls, vlogging, and um, yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, let's go shopping. Bye. I would like to get to know
Hey guys, so I am back. Update that trip to HomeSense was a total waste because I didn't find anything that I wanted. I am looking for something that I can use in my kitchen um, as a pantry to put some stuff in, maybe like a shelving unit or something. But um, they didn't have anything in there. And then I was looking for a small dining table. I didn't see anything as well. So that was a waste of trip. I am back home. Well, not home. I'm back where I live and there's a home goods right next to me here i'm gonna go in there and see i was able to reserve a u-haul van for later so i want to pick my son up what time is it now where's my phone it's about 2 49 and i don't have to be at his bus stop until 3 30 so what i want to do is run into this home goods look around and see if they have any table or any shelving unit for the kitchen and then i'm gonna go pick up the u-haul van Pick him up from the bus stop. He's going to ride in the U-Haul. <laughs> pick him up from the bus stop. And then we're going to go over to my girlfriend's house. And pick up the shelving unit. So that's what I'm going to do. I just want to kill time. There's an Ashley home store right next to the home goods here. I might go in there. I don't know if they'll have anything that I want. Because I don't want like big furniture. I just want something small. But I'll go in there and see what they got. Yesterday I found curtains from this home goods here. Um, for my bedroom that I love. I told you guys. Did I tell you guys I found curtains? Or I was looking for curtains. They're so pretty. If you remember what my bedroom looks like. Or at least what my bed looked like. Then you would know that this curtain goes so perfectly. Let's wait for this light to go down. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I got a 96 inch. And this was 50 bucks y'all. So I ended up spending $150 because I have three windows but I'm excited to see how it will look in the room because I really like it and I think it's going to go well with my bed and every other piece of furniture that I'm going to put in there I do have curtains in there now I don't know if I said that the curtains that I have in there is sheer so I get a lot of sunlight early in the morning so I never sleep in I never sleep in anyway but it's just a little too bright so I need something else it's super windy out here the wind wants to blow me away. I saw this on Wayfair site and I was thinking about ordering it just to put in the kitchen, but I don't love it, so I don't know if I should spend a hundred and seventy-nine dollars on something that I don't like, but I'm I'm like it's nice, it's alright. I think it'll look good in the kitchen, but the cabinets in the kitchen are like brown-ish. It's very ugly, so <laughs> something that'll make it look a little bit nice. I don't know. Alright, I'm talking too much. Let's go in home goods and see what they have. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Wish me luck. Finger cross. You don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no I pick up the U-Haul. I did go into Home Goods when we last saw each other. Um, I was able to find that shelving unit. I think I show you guys. I ended up getting that one. I think it's gonna fit nicely into the space. So um, I'll take it home and give it a try. I went into Ashley, but I didn't see any anything small that would fit into the space. But um, I picked up my U-Haul and I'm gonna go pick my son up from school and then we will pick up the shelf from my friend's house and then we'll stop at Home Goods and pick up the um, shelving unit. So he's gonna be so excited to ride in the U-Haul. I'll keep you guys posted when we get there. But yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm excited, I'm excited to see how everything comes together and I'll show you guys too when um, I'm done putting everything together. I didn't show you the curtains. Oh yes I did, I showed you guys the curtains already. I'm tripping. All right, let's go. It's rainy and I want to take my time and drive. My son bus stop is like probably 10 minutes down the road. So it's not a bad drive, but I'll catch you guys later. Bye. 
Guys, I just picked Ethan up and he's so excited about the U-Haul. The bus driver was like, I hope you guys are not moving. And all the parents was looking at me like I'm crazy because they saw me in the U-Haul. I guess they thought I was here to like steal all their children. That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> are you excited to be in the U-Haul? Yeah. Where are you? You had a good day at school? Can we go to the, can we go to the fun place today? No, put your seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. I have a U-Haul. I have to go get stuff and move it. You said you go home. Yeah, but I have to get some stuff from Auntie Precious' house. I don't think about it. Why can't we go to five and below on the weekend? We are heading over to Precious House to pick up the shelf. I'm excited. Are you excited? Don't wipe your hair now, honey. <laughs> your head, not your hair. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Let's go. That's a Precious House. She is about to back the U-Haul up. Hey. This is Ariel. Oh boy. This is your girl Ariel. <laughs> and this is my Ethan, get off the road, I said, and go close the door. This is my auntie. Yay! My beautiful auntie. Wait, my beautiful baby. Wait, Nobody's there. Oh, you want to take a picture? You don't have any shoes on. Yeah. Precious backing up the U hub. Back it up, 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 back it up. She said I don't know how to park. <laughs> Damn, you a pro? Yeah, keep the door closed. No, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> on the vlog yesterday today is sad today's saturday yes today's saturday um i brought the shelves back yesterday i put them up was it right yesterday i think it was yesterday anyway i brought the shelf i put them up i have all my shoes on them will go in my room and i'll show it to you guys i'm in my son room i think i told you guys this before the light in this room is so much better I was actually thinking about it today and I'm like, I don't know why I didn't choose this room as my bedroom because the light is just so good. Um, but my bedroom is bigger than this room. As you guys can probably tell by now, I have a cold. I came down with a terrible cold yesterday and I had a photo shoot, a photo shoot scheduled with a photographer today and I didn't want to cancel on him because he had another photo shoot that he had to move around uh, for me today. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to power through get ready and go to the shoe because i have <clears throat> excuse me i have my sponsor content for nordstrom that's due this week coming up so i just wanted to power through and go to that to that photo shoot but i feel like crap i spoke to him this morning he said we was going to be meeting at 11. i got up did my hair did my makeup steam my clothes packed them um 10 30 i texted him he didn't text back because i was texting to see where he was 11 o'clock nothing 11 30 nothing so i called him i was like hey where are you he didn't answer his phone i left him a message and then he called me back at let's see he called me back at 11 35 he said his photo his photo shoot before me was oh my god was running a little late so um he was gonna come to me after that photo shoot and i'm like all right that's fine but could I at least get a text, a phone call, anything? Because it's 11.30 and we plan to meet at 11. What if I would have just show up there? And if he would have told me, I would have, you know, asked to reschedule because I feel like crap anyway. So he was like, all right, we'll just, we'll just meet up when I'm done. And I agree because I, as you can see, I already had hair and makeup done. So I was just like, okay, let's do that. Then he called me now. He called me at 12. Telling me that he wants to he wants to reschedule because his photo shoot ran late and by the time he drive here it's gonna be around 1.30. And I'm like, for all of this, I could have just canceled this photo shoot this morning because I dragged myself out of bed, feeling like crap, nose is running, I'm cuffing, 
I'm just a mess and I put on makeup and I steam all these clothes to go do the photo shoot just for you to now cancel on me that I'm my car is already packed I have all the clothes and shoes in there and I'm ready to go then you cancel on me so I don't know what to do I was thinking about just going ahead and do a haul but I don't think I'm in a condition to do a haul because I sound like crap and I don't know what to do maybe I'll go to the mall or something I hate for my makeup to go to waste <laughs> I hate for makeup to go to waste because if I stay home and do nothing I literally just put this makeup on I would have to like wash my face and take everything off and I feel like that would be such a waste but um maybe I can shoot some IG reels or maybe I should just let it go but anyway let me take you guys into my room and show you the shelf how it, how it turned out and I could also show you the shelf in the kitchen the one that I bought from home goods I put all the all of Ethan's snacks and some pots and stuff on there. It looks pretty nice. I found a dining table that I like. It's from Wayfair that I want to order. But y'all, it is $150. And I'm like, do I really want to spend $150 on a dining room table? Especially since it's just like a small uh, dining set that's going to go in this little corner of the apartment. I feel like that's too much. Uh, if it was like my house or somewhere that I plan to be long term. Then I could do it, but I'm like $850 for a dining table. You guys let me know if I'm tripping. But I might go ahead and get it because it's cute. It I like it and it matches everything else in the apartment. So let me show you guys. If it doesn't come out clear, I'll oh, phone just rotate it. I'll put it on the screen. I don't even know why I try to show you guys on my phone because it's always a mess. But I'll pop a photo of it here on the screen. You guys let me know if I should get it. It's so cute though, but it's $850. My budget for this dining table was like, my budget for this dining set, I was thinking around like 500 Or maybe because I haven't bought a dining room set in a while. But it's not like a fancy dining room set, it's just something small with some stools. I think that's too much. Anyhow, let's go into my room. Let me show you guys my shelf. I am loving it. Now I can find everything, well not everything, most of my stuff because... Before, all of my shoes was on the floor somewhere. It was in boxes. Um, my closet is very small and it doesn't have shelving in there. So, yeah. It's coming together. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to do a little bedroom makeover. And I'll do that in another video and show you guys. Because I want to get some new bedding set. I might get like a throw rug. I hope you guys can hear me. My voice is so bad. And some other stuff. So... Let's go see it. Keep in mind that I had to take some of the shoes off the rack for the photo shoot today because I already packed some of them. <clears throat> so some of them are missing. I only put like my spring shoes, shoes that I'm currently wearing and the rest of my other stuff is in storage. I will switch them out as the season goes. So let's go in there. I'm in my son's room. I need to clean his room. It's such a mess. And I was hoping to do all of that today, but y'all... I am struggling. <laughs> Look at my makeup. And I think I did such a good job. And this photographer just canceled on me. I used my Dior foundation. I haven't used it in a while. And I use it. I like it. It's very light. And it feels like skin. So let's go in my room. Forgive me, guys. I've already told you that the light in this room is really bad. But this is what the shelf looked like. And I put my curtains up. I like it. It's very pretty. But this is what the shelf looked like. I just tried to organize the bags by colors. So I have like my browns, well, sorry, I'm chewing cuff drops, but I have like the brown ones, the ones that can fit. And these I tend to wear more often. This Michael Kors bag, I don't really wear a lot, but I figure if it's up there, I might wear it. Then over here, um, I have my new favorite Amazon shoes for spring. I think I showed the shoes to you guys. It's a really nice color, a great pop. For spring, sorry about my voice. And then, this is a new purchase. I got this from TJ Maxx when I went to visit my girlfriend in Raleigh last weekend. And I think this was like 30 bucks. I figured it'd be a nice little spring shoes to have. I probably shared these shoes with you guys before. This is by Steve Madden. And I bought this last spring. I love this shoe so much, I bought it in white. And I also have it in nude. But we'll get there. Let me finish with this <laughs> with this side. And this bag I actually took from my friend a while ago. I borrowed it and I never gave it back. I like it. It's very pretty. It comes with a little scarf. And I wear this a lot in the summertime. It comes with like this little tie here. And you can tie it. But I just 
took the tie off because I was going to use it for a photo today and it did not need to have this tie on it. But I'll just put it back before I lose it. But isn't that pretty? Isn't that giving you all the spring feels? I'm so happy that I was able to get some of my stuff off of the ground <laughs> and get them on here. I did have to take one of the bag and one of my shoes from on here for the photo shoot that I'm supposed to do today. So this uh, side looked a little empty, but I had another white bag and another pair of white sandals on there <sighs> as well. So this is the first rack on the bottom here. I have my brown bags. I don't even know what to call them. These bags I got from, I got this one from Amazon, the dumpling bag, and then I got this one from... I think Brawling Toko Factory. This one is from Amazon. These are two of my most used bags. I wear them a lot. I'm thinking about buying the real one, but I don't even know if it's worth it. I might as well just stick with the dupe because it gets the job done. And then this bag was gifted to me for a partnership I did last year. I don't remember. It's such a shame. I don't remember who the brand is. And that name is not on there, so it doesn't help either. And you guys remember this little guy. I meant to return this back to um, Walmart, but I realized that I took the tag off, so I could not return it. But this is my little Amazon bag. And then when we come down to the bottom of this shelf, I have my black bags. Well, I have a few of my black bags, whatever I can get to fit on here. This one is from Express. This one is by Teddy Blake. I did a partnership with them, I want to say last year, but I'm not sure. So I like that a lot. I believe this is a bodega, 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 mm -mm, dupe. <laughs> you guys know what I be. And then this one is some Aldo. And this is my black Louboutins. I don't wear them as much anymore. I need to get the heel fix. And then on the bottom here, I just have my sneakers. I have another pair of black sneakers that was here, but I wore it out yesterday. So it's no longer there. And then I have one of my favorite rain boots from, I think I picked this up from TJ Maxx. I also have this in black. I like this a lot. And this was only, I want to say 24 bucks. And because I have small ankles, it's usually hard for me to find um, rain boots that I like. So I really, I was really excited when I came across this one. And then here I just have my J-Lo brown boots. I try to keep boots on here that I still wear now that it's getting a bit warmer and then put the boots that I no longer wear away so that was my tough process because I don't have enough space so this is one of the rack now let's get started on this side of the rack I went to Ikea yesterday trying to find another shelf because I think I have space in my closet for me to put one more shelf but they were sold out so I couldn't get it but I will check back again when it restocked for me to get that but this one is by Scratter barrel, scratter, scratter something. <laughs> this was gifted to me. And this bag, I believe I picked it up from Forever 21 a while ago. I was looking for a little new bag and I got it. And this is the same Steve Madden heels in brown. I told you guys, when I like something, I buy it in every color. This is the pink. This is the white. And this is the nude. And then I got another pair of nude sandal up here this one is by express i haven't worn this yet i uh, bought this i think last week for a partnership but i didn't wear it i ended up wearing another pair of sandals so that was that and then over here i have my pumps i have two pair missing i was going to use them for a photo shoot today but you guys already know the story with that this one here is my workwear shoes this is from nordstrom i love this so comfortable such a great color this is by Steve Madden. Most of my nude pumps are from Steve Madden. And then I have one from Christian Louboutins. And then I have the brown one. This is like patent. Patent. What is it called? I don't even know. And this one is like Sway. This is also from Steve Madden. I think we might go to the mall today. Since I already have makeup on. I feel like I need something from Nordstrom to zest up my partnership outfit so I keep all of my pumps here I can't find the other pair to this when I do photo shoots things tend to go missing so I can't find that but on the bottom when we come down here as you guys can see this shelf this um, part is in wrong you know I picked this up from my girlfriend house and it was already put together and I think she put this one in wrong and I could not um, take it out to turn it around so I just left it as it is I might just paint it white so it doesn't look bad or um, whenever Michael or my son father is around, I might ask them to take this 
out and put it back but all right moving on i picked this bag up from zara this is gonna be in my next haul i like it it's a nice color i wanted something like neutral that i could just grab and go so i like that a lot and then i have my amazon sandal here you guys know how much i love this sandal i also have it in the dark brown it's packed away because i was going to use it for a photo shoot today and then here i have these pumps that i got from nordstrom these are by jeffrey campbell if you watch my haul regularly then you saw me talk about this one very comfortable and then i have this space here i just decided decided to put some of my sunglasses here this is just a few um and then moving down here i have my clear pink heels from express yeah i got this from express i like this i wear them a lot in the spring because i work with a lot of brands i try to get a lot of neutral shoes that i can wear with um different outfits for different brands and not have to worry about it being a problem so this I usually wear in the springtime with a lot of my spring outfits. And this, this white sandal that I've worn to the ground. This is one of my favorite pair of white sandals. I think I need to see if it's still available so I can buy another pair because mm. I love it. This is by Pretty Little Thing and it's time for a new one, y'all. It is a mess. Then this is a new favorite that just came in the mail yesterday. I ordered this from Amazon because I felt like I needed an, another pair of white sandals. And this is great for the summer and the spring. It's so cute. I like the wedge heels. Super comfortable. And it fits amazing. I don't remember how much it was, but I will link it if you want to go ahead and check it out. And this one I picked up from Walmart. I have a Walmart haul coming, so just bear with me. Hopefully I start feeling better and I can do the haul. But, yeah, these are from Walmart. I like them. They're comfortable. They're just easy, everyday shoes. Then when we move to the bottom of my rack... Um, I have more shoes I need to go get out of the closet because I think I can fit one more shoes on here. This shelf looks like it's going to fall. I don't think I have anything at the bottom holding it up. I have this black everyday sandal here from Ann Taylor. This was part of a partnership I did with them. They're very comfortable. And then I have another favorite black shoes here from Ann Taylor that I love another great work shoes or very comfortable easy shoes and you guys that watch my vlog you saw when i purchased this one from nordstrom this is by open edit and yeah that's my last level well on the bottom here this one is in wrong too this needs to be turned around i just have my flats here i do have more flats in my closet and in storage that i need to get out so the shelf will constantly be changing but i'm just glad to have it to put some stuff on but these pair of flats are from ann taylor love them and you guys know my famous low for famous loafers and yeah that's it that's my little rack my shelf i don't know why i keep calling it a rack this is my little shelf and let me see if i can show you guys the curtains the curtains came out great it is a bit dark for me i'm not used to having dark curtains in my room i'm used to having like sheer so i'm adjusting to the to the darkness of it all but it's a very nice color it matches my bed let me turn around i wanted to move to this side so you guys can see it better my room is a mess i'm in the process of doing spring cleaning so i won't be showing you guys all of the mess that it is but um, this is what the curtain looks like. It's very high. It hit the ceiling and then it comes all the way down. I think I want to change out this mirror for a gold mirror. I'm still thinking about it. This one. I think I want to change it up for something a little bit longer that goes up high. So I might do that. But, yeah. As you guys can see, it matches my, um, vanity. That's Michael's, Michael, <laughs> Michael's <laughs> water bottle. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's move to the kitchen. This is my current kitchen situation. <laughs> it's a mess. Don't judge me. This is the reason I got this shelf. We are going to clean it up today, put everything in order, and try to get this place looking decent. My pots are all on the floor. I have nowhere to put them. We have very little um, cabinet space yet here, and I've already put stuff in the cabinet. This is all of Ethan's snack. It's a mess. So we're gonna straighten up this kitchen. 
and hope that it looks better. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. Um, excuse the background noise. I have something cooking. This is the shelf that I picked up from Home Goods. If you guys remember, when I went in there, I'm still getting the kitchen together, so don't judge me. This is from my old house for you guys who's been really subscribed to my channel for a while. You saw this at my old house. This is from Amazon, the sugar, coffee, and tea, and the bread thingy. And then on the bottom, I just have cereals, different types of cereal. We're trying to be organized in this apartment, so pray for me. And then on the bottom, I just have my pots because I have so many pots for someone who doesn't cook that much. I have a lot of pots, vacuum cleaner, and on this side, I just have snacks, a whole lot of snacks. I went back to Home Goods and they had another one. So I ended up picking up this one because I wanted it to match this one and I just have snacks on there. So this is what my little rack is looking like. Nothing special but just bringing a little life to the apartment. I'm back in my sunroom. Do you guys see the difference in lighting between my room and my sunroom? This is my sunroom with no lights turned on, nothing. <laughs> the light is just so amazing in here. Nah, that would be too much to do. I was thinking about us switching rooms, but that's just going to be a lot. So, um, I, I think I might go to the mall. I want to do a haul because I already have all of my clothes steamed and ready for the photo shoot that I was going to do. So, I'm thinking if I should just do a try-on haul or if I should go to the mall. I need some makeup products, and beauty products, I should say. And I also need something from Nordstrom, so I don't know what to do. Go to the mall or shoot a haul. Go to the mall or shoot a haul. Damn, I already have hair and makeup, so maybe I should just do the haul. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go figure that out and I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on. How does it taste? Oh my god, what is this? It tastes gross. Oh, well, no, the sneeze went away. All right, we are gonna go um, drop Ethan off to my girlfriend's house. He wants to go and play with the kids. Don't spend the whole time on your phone, okay? Okay. He's gonna go play with the kids and we are gonna head into the mall. I'm gonna go pick something up from Nordstrom for my campaign. I think I want a bag. Oh God, why am I forcing myself to talk? I don't want any um, clothes. I want sh either shoes or bag. That's what I need. Um, I feel like I have too much clothes. And then we're gonna go into the Apple store. I think I'm gonna get a new computer and a new phone. I really need a new computer, but I've been putting it off because you guys know I am cheap. I'm cheap. I don't want to buy a new computer. It's going to cost me, I'm thinking, minimum $1,500, probably $2,000. Um, but I need a new computer because the computer that I have, it's old. I've had it for years. Um, the processor is slow. It's full. It, it's a mess. I need a new computer and I need a new phone. I have the iPhone 11. Um, I don't really know what number they are on now. Do I really need a new phone? I don't think I need a new phone. I think I could continue to live with my old phone. I don't know. Michael has been telling me that I need to get a new phone. Uh, just because the camera is better on the new phone. And the new phone is just much better. He said. So he says. But I don't, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it. Uh, but I am also thinking about getting a com uh, camera for YouTube. Um, I use my vlogging camera to shoot hauls and stuff and I really want the hauls quality to be better So I'm thinking about getting a new camera just for <clears throat> YouTube videos and stuff. Let's drop Ethan off and then we will figure it out from there But I do need some beauty products. So We'll do that. You ready Ethan? Yeah. You gonna be good? All right Here I need to take your seatbelt off and put your mask on Okay. All right, come on. Um, and I know someone's probably gonna ask, or be wondering. It's not COVID, cause every time we hear someone's sick, we think about COVID, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> I had a COVID test yesterday, and it came back negative. So it's just a cold. But uh, we are wearing our masks in public, just because I feel like um, when we were wearing our masks, we wasn't getting sick, especially that Ethan is in school. He did not get sick for like the past year and a half since they've been wearing masks. 
but since he stopped wearing masks in school well since the school took away the mandate for masses well the state i should say took away the mask mandate he haven't been wearing his mask in school and i noticed that he's getting sick more often i'm trying to get him to keep wearing the mask but he said none of the other kids are wearing masks in class so he doesn't want to wear it but i'm trying to encourage him to wear it so we can not be sick did you put your mask on Squeeze it so it fits your nose. It's on the right side. All right, make sure you keep it on, okay? When you're playing with the kids. And make sure you're washing your hands. Okay. When they take it off when you want to eat. Okay? What happened if it gets sick when I eat? You're not going to get sick when you eat. You're already sick. All right, come on. You're not going to be long. I'm going to pick you up in like an hour. An hour? Yeah, one hour. All right. It is a nice sunny day to go out and spend some moolah. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh god, it's hot. Just got to the mall. I'm gonna run into Narshkon first, then I'm gonna go to Sephora, and then we are gonna go to the Apple store. Hopefully it's not too crazy in there, so wish me luck. Let's go see what we can find in the mall. I might vlog on my phone when I get into the mall because I feel like, oh, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark. All right, that's better. Um, I might vlog on my phone when I get into the mall because it's just easier. I hate when people stare at me and my camera. So I'll put the camera away, masked up. Gotta stay safe and I'll talk to you guys in the mall. I literally just spent 30 minutes trying to find my car in the parking lot. I do this all the time. I have really bad sense of direction. Or maybe I just don't pay attention to my surrounding. But I came out of Nordstrom on the other side of the mall. And I spent 30 minutes looking in every parking lot trying to find my car. And I did this the last time when I was with my mom. And it was cold and it was raining and I could not find my car. Now today, after 30 minutes of turning around in the parking lot, something told me, go back in Nordstrom and look for where you enter. So I went back in the mall and I realized that I entered through handbags, but because I purchased a shoe when I walked into Nordstrom, I, for some odd reason, I thought I entered through the shoe department, so I exited through the shoe department, but no. I enter from the handbag department. 30 minutes of my life wasted but let me show you guys what I got I'm excited about this pair of shoes that I pick up I bought these shoes because I've been eyeing them for a while but they are $169 we'll just round it off to $170 and I did not feel like spending $170 on a pair of shoe you guys know how I am <laughs> but um, I knew uh, these few days I was gonna be spending a lot of money on things that I don't want but things that I need for work 
and I always buy things because of work purposes. I never buy things just because I want them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to these shoes. Um, because I know I need to go buy myself a new laptop. I'm probably going to need to get a new phone, which I don't really want to get. But let me show you guys my new baby i can't wait to go make a space for her on the book on the shelf well we need to come up with a name for the shoe rack the shoe rack this is what she looks like i'll do a proper haul but you guys get to see it first it's by jeffrey campbell and the last time i was in north Carolina, i saw these shoes and i was like i want them i saw some lady trying it on an older lady and i was like yes you have such great taste that's what i told the lady and I wanted them because they look so good, but I, I didn't want to spend the money. But I got them. Oh my gosh. Y'all. She is a beauty. She is stunning. And she's very, very comfortable. Uh, it comes in black and then it comes in like a brown. This was the last black pair in the store and it was my size. So I'm so glad I got it. She's so beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to wear it though. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to. It looks so good on my feet. Oh my gosh. She needs to die for. I hope it's still available uh, on the North Shore site. If it is, I'll link it for you guys. But mm, I need to go on a date so I can wear these shoes. But that's the only thing I got from Nordstrom, but this cost me $170. It's $169.95, so it's $170. Oh, God, my nose is still ready. Then I went into Sephora. I had to get some stuff that I need. I picked up sunscreen. I ran out a while ago, and I have not. Are we going to turn down the light for this? okay yes there we go uh super good this is the sunscreen that i use it's really good um i like it you guys know i have sensitive acne prone skin so i'm very weird about things that i use but uh this is the smaller size i need to buy a bigger one but i was just being cheap i didn't want to buy the bigger one and i got translucent powder because i've ran out and i needed to restock on them i really need a lot of makeup products because i'm running out but i'm gonna buy them little by little because your girl spent too much money today and you guys know how i feel about spending money so then i got me um the dip brow because this ran out a long time ago but i've been using this brow pencil from walmart and it works fine but i think i'm gonna keep those i think i'm gonna keep that brow pencil for when i'm going out or when i'm traveling then i'll use that brow pencil what i want to do is uh pack one makeup bag for like traveling or when i'm going to photo shoots or if i'm going somewhere that i could just grab and take with me so i don't constantly have to be packing my makeup i don't like that because every time i have to go somewhere i have to pack all of my makeup products that i use and take it with me and then when i come back i have to unpack it so i want to just have two set of makeup products like have one for home and then one that's in the bag that i could just grab and go I've been thinking about it. The only thing is, it's gonna cost me a lot of money because those beauty products are not cheap. And then, yeah. Next thing I got is my laptop. I got a MacBook Pro. You guys can see. It took a lot of convincing for me to get this. I had to talk myself into it, y'all. Um, it cost me $2,700. But oh my god, it's so heavy. I can't even get it out. Oh, there she go. $2,700, but I had to do it because I need a better computer. My other computer that I have here, I have the MacBook Air. I bought this a few years ago. It is old. It has so much issues and it doesn't have a fast processor. It's it makes my life very difficult when i'm working um but i bought it because i really like the color i thought it was very pretty it was light it's easy to move around with that's the reason i bought that one but i bought this i think i want to say like four five years ago i bought this laptop and it was just time for a new one but but i'm glad i got it i'm gonna download final cut pro on this laptop and i'm gonna try to edit this vlog hopefully i do it and it comes out great because i really want to start learning how to use final cut 
Uh, I do have an editor, but I want to just learn for myself. Um, yeah, so I wanted to trade this, my old laptop in for a new one, but they were telling me that my old laptop is only worth $180. And I'm like, no, I might as well just gift it to someone because, yeah, no, $180 taken away from... 2700 and change to me that's like nothing i might as well give it to someone that need it than to deduct a hundred and eighty dollars from this one i can just pay the hundred and eighty dollars i don't mind so i'm gonna find someone that's in need of a computer and i'm gonna give that laptop to them once i transfer all of my belongings from the old one to the new one but that's it y'all that's all i got from the mall and i think i spent over three thousand dollars in this short little trip I feel a sneeze coming up. Ah, oh, oh, Jesus. Excuse me. Now we are going to run into... Um, we're going to run into Best Buy. I have my other vlogging camera here. I want to see if I can trade it in or if they can buy it for me. Let me show you guys. I have the Canon G7X Mark III. This is the newest one. The one that I'm vlogging on is my old... Is the older version of this one and I bought this one first but then I realized that the focus on this is not the best the focus on the older one is much better so I went back and bought the older one so I want to see if I can trade this in at Best Buy and get uh, what is that camera that I'm looking for I can't remember the name but I'll put it here on the screen I want to use that for like YouTube try on hauls um, the problem is my camera that I use to shoot video doesn't have a flip screen to shoot videos my big camera that i use to take photos it doesn't have a flip screen so i can't use it for youtube videos i tried that with my last video and i didn't realize that the whole time the camera was in focus it was it was black it was dark and it wasn't focused and i shot an entire video with it and then i ended up not using that video because i could not it didn't have a flip screen for me to see myself so i like it for photo it's great but i think i might need something uh, a little bit cheaper than that one for videos I took it up and my nose is ready I gotta go blow my nose but we're gonna head to Best Buy and I'll keep you guys posted on what happened there guys I just left Best Buy and they are tripping can you believe these people told me that can you guys see me I feel like it's dark let's move to this side is that better no anyway these people told me that they want to give me $65 for a camera that I paid $749 for. I'm like, uh, no thank you. Do I look like I'm desperate? And the crazy thing is, they'll give you $65 for it and then they'll go and sell it for probably like five, $600. So, no thank you. Um, I'm gonna try to sell it online. So if you're interested in it, let me know. It's the Canon G7X Mark III. And I'm trying to sell it for like 500. I bought it for 749, 750. We'll just run it off. But let me go, y'all. I'm gonna go home, take this wig off, take this makeup off, and lay down because I feel like crap. And I need some soup. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Um, it's gonna go up tomorrow, Sunday. Today's Saturday. So if you enjoy, give it a thumbs up, cause. Your girl's sick, but I'm still powering through, trying to do work. And I hope I do a good a good job editing it. Uh, I'm gonna download Final Cut Pro and try to edit it. So hopefully I do a good job. But I'm going home, y'all. These people over here today been tripping. First, Apple tell me they're gonna give me $180 for my computer. And then Best Buy talking about they're gonna give me $65 for my camera. I just cannot. I'm hot. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. And I'll catch you in the next vlog. Bye.